to everyone welcome in the secret place where we together listen to the psalm and meditate and comment in spirituality what it can give to us in our life what it can give in our journey with God and also an encouragement for our friends our brothers and sisters this is your pastor Yadi. Today is Psalm 35 and I will talk about dealing with betrayal and slander. And the key verse of this psalm is let them shout for joy and rejoice who favor my vindication and let them say continually, the Lord be magnified, who delights in the prosperity of his servant. Psalm 35, verse 27. Let me read the psalm for you. Content, Lord, with those who content with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take up shield and armor, arise and come to my aid. Brandish spear and javelin against those who pursue me. Say to me, I am your salvation. May those who seek my life be disgraced and put to shame. May those who plot my ruin be turned back in dismay. May they be like calf or chaff before the wind, with the angel of the Lord driving them away, driving them away. May their path be dark and slippery, with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. Since they hid their net for me without cause, and without cause dug a pit for me, May ruin overtake them by surprise. May the net they hit entangle them. May they fall into the pit to their ruin. Then my soul will rejoice in the Lord. And delight in his salvation. My whole being will exclaim, Who is like you, Lord? You rescue the poor from those too strong for them, the poor and needy from those who rob them. Ruthless witnesses come forward. They question me on things I know nothing about. They repay me evil for good and leave me like one bereaved. Yet when they will ill, we're ill, I put on sackcloth. And humbled myself with fasting. When my prayers returned to me unanswered, I went about mourning. As though for my friend or brother, I bowed my head in grief, in grief. As though weeping for my mother. But when I stumbled, they gathered in glee. A silence gathered against me without my knowledge. They slandered to me without ceasing. Like the ungodly, they maliciously mocked. They gnashed their teeth at me. How long, I will, Lord, will you look on? Rescue me from their ravage, my precious life from these lions. I will give you thanks in the great assembly among the trunks I will praise you do not let those gloat over me who are my enemies without cause do not let those who hate me without reason maliciously wink the eye they do not speak peacefully but devise false accusations against those who live quietly in the land they sneer at me and say Aha, 
Aha. With our eye, our own eyes, we have seen it. Lord, you have seen this. Do not be silent. Do not be far from me, Lord. Awake and rise to my defense. Contend for me, my God and Lord. Vindicate me in your righteousness, Lord my God. Do not let them gloat over me. Do not let them think, aha, just what we wanted, or say, we have swallowed them up. May all who gloat over my distress be put to shame and confusion. May all who exalt themselves over me be clothed with shame and disgrace. May those who delight in my vindication shout for joy and gladness. May they always say, The Lord be exalted, who delights in well-being of his servant. My tongue will proclaim your righteousness, your praises, all day long. A Christian should expect opposition from the world. A missionary or one who is conscientious about witnessing to the lost should expect to be maligned and ridiculed or ridiculed. My greatest disillusionment, however, has been the opposition and conflict among those who know and serve the Lord. The greatest hurt has come from the betrayal of a colleague or being maligned by those who had given a pretenses of friendship and support. I have readily identified with the psalmist in reacting against those who humiliated and devised evil against me. Some fought against me, sought to undercut my leadership and destroy my reputation. Others maligned and slandered me without cause. They rejoiced when I stumbled and devised deceitful words, spreading malicious rumors and digging a pit to entrap me. Their attacks were seldom out from in the open, but always devious and in darkness. So how do you react when people treat you that way, especially those who are supposedly your friends? The important principle reflected in this passage is not to take it upon yourself to respond, but to relinquish it to the Lord. That is why the psalmist appeals to God to contend with those who oppose him. He asks God to rise up against those who pursue him and cause them to be ashamed and dishonored. Let them be caught in their own trap. Often it seems that the Lord is unconcerned. The attacks and the afflictions continue until we cry out, Lord, how long will you look on? rescue my soul from their ravage. But notice several guides related to our own attitude and responses. We are to humble ourselves and subject ourselves to God's judgment. Confidence he will vindicate us according to our righteousness and therefore be sure to stand for that which is right and walk in integrity rather than reacting in kind. We are to pray for those who abuse us if they were our friend or brother or sister. Lift them to the Lord and ask him to bless them and change their hearts. We are to recognize that God will exercise judgment and bring vindication 
not for our sake, but for the sake of justice, and that he might receive the praise. We are to believe that God does not want us to experience distress and be victimized by those who slander and humiliate us in order to magnify themselves. But he delights in our prosperity that he might be magnified in our deliverance. Job 4, 6 says, Is not your fear of God your confidence and the integrity of your ways your hope? Even in the midst of personal attacks, betrayal of friends, and being the object of slanderous gossip, we are to praise the Lord and declare his righteousness. Pray with me. Lord, in the midst of criticism and personal attacks, help us not to respond in anger and counter attacks, but with grace. You have said, Vindication is mine. Help us to leave it with you and praise you, even in times of pain and rejection. And believe me, my brothers and sisters and dear friends, it works. As I said in the beginning, I've been there. And it's very painful if it comes from the side of Christianity. So, watch your heart, guard your heart, guard your words, guard your eyes, and guard your mind. It's easy to slap back. It's easy to find words that you will hurt them. And in the beginning, maybe you do it because you are so in pain that there is only a relief that you put some bad words upon them too. But let me say this, it does not want to bring you any further. It will not help you. So, trust me. Let me bless you and give you strength and guidance by the Holy Spirit. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' name. Go with God. Go under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit will reveal, the Spirit will encourage, and the Spirit will heal. And God bless. I wish you a good day, a very experienced day. Bye-bye. And God bless.